Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overlord, and today I'm bringing you another video for all of you stable diffusion lovers. And today is a big day, because today is the release date of the 1.5 version of the stable diffusion model. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. Well, here it is. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can get access to that model and what exactly are the differences between the 1.4 version and the 1.5. Now, as I said previously in a comment, I've already experienced the 1.5 version back when it was available on the Discord server. And I have to be honest with you, I didn't see a lot of improvements between the 1.5 and the 1.4 version. So maybe this time it's gonna be different. Now also keep in mind that the 1.5 version of Stable Diffusion is only available on the official website, so it will only be available to download for the public in around one week or two. So for now, if you want to use the model, you have to use the official website. So I've been playing around a little bit with it the entire day and I've made some interesting observations. Um, I've made some notes and I gotta tell you, um, unfortunately, it's not looking good. I have to be honest, but don't worry. I will explain everything, every single thing that I noticed and I will show you proof of my observations. But before we begin, I think it's important to show you how you can get access to that model right now. So for that, you can just click on the link in the description down below and it will bring you into the beta dreamstudio.ai website. And if you create a new account, you will get access to 200 generation credits, which is around 200 images with the default settings, which is already pretty good. Now, once you create your account on this website, you're going to see a bunch of options right here the width, the height, the scale, the steps, the number of images, the sampler, and finally, you're going to see the model and the seed. And what we want now is the model. And you can choose here between the Stable Diffusion 1.4 and the Stable Diffusion 1.5. And this is what I've been doing the entire day, just switching between the 1.4 and the 1.5 to see the differences by keeping the same seed, so you can see the real difference between the same images. So let's start with my first observation after playing around a few hours. Observation number one, the faces look a little bit better. And when I say a little bit better, I'm talking about maybe 5%. Yes. Now, for example, here's a generated portrait of Christina Hendricks, my queen, in the 1.4 version, and here is the 1.5. It is the exact same image with the exact same seed, the exact same prompt, but this one is done in 1.5. 1.4, 1.5. So yes, there is a little bit of differences, but not by much. Now, if you take another example, such as this one, you can barely tell the difference between the two images. They're just in a little different styles. And I don't even remember which one is the 1.4 and the 1.5 version. I think this one is the 1.5, but I'm not quite sure. I think the difference is, is that you can see that the lips are a little bit more shinier than the 1.4 version, but the difference is almost none. Here's another example. 1.4 and 1.5. Same image, same seed, but a different result. But very similar nonetheless. Now another observation that I found, when you create a new portrait, new faces with the 1.5 version, you often get a little bit more zoomed in generation, such as these ones, as you can see here. And they happen more often than on the 1.4 version. But the one good thing is that generally, this generation produces the best results. I mean, look at this one. This is absolutely fantastic. I never had a generation like this in the 1.4 version. So definitely the 1.5 is doing sometimes way better than 1.4, but it's very rare. Here's another one. Very nice, very shiny. The pupils are a little bit crooked, but overall the face looks pretty nice. Very realistic. Now, observation number two, the hands still look bad. Yeah, unfortunately, they haven't improved that, that much. It's maybe sometimes a little bit better, but the differences are almost minimal, almost non-existent. It's pretty much the same with no differences. I would say the only difference is that in the 1.4 version, when I ask for hands holding a glass of wine, I would actually get some hands holding a glass of wine. But in the 1.5 version, I would often get something else, like a, a beautiful painting of a woman holding a glass of wine, or just some 
very strange generation of something holding a glass of wine. Again, another beautiful woman or a painting of a hand holding a giant glass of wine. And again, as you can see here, the number of fingers does not look close to reality in the 1.5 version. So yeah, it needs to be improved. The face is nice though. So that's good. Now the third observation is that I found out that the 1.5 version does not respect prompt as well as the 1.4. So the prompt here was a simple river with the green plain and a house on the left and some clouds. And on the 1.5, with the same exact image, the same exact prompt, it suddenly just made the house disappear for some reason. And again here, 1.4 version with the nice river flowing here with the house on the left and here house on the left looks actually good but the river has disappeared so that's a little weird now for all of you anime lovers did they finally fix the generation of anime images well no a little bit sometimes it's a little bit better but it's still ugly here's the before here's the after okay but not great and again here 1.4 1.5 so yeah not great and since we're talking about anime images in anime girls here's another observation it felt like the censorship was heavier on the 1.5 than on the 1.4 each time i wanted to generate an image of an anime girl the not safe for work filter would just go off randomly even when i tried to generate something innocent so that's something to take into consideration so maybe i was just unlucky but this is what i experienced now how about landscape how about the generation of fantasy land, fantasy pictures and stuff like that? Do they look good? Well, I mean, yeah, they look good, they don't look better. Sometimes there is a little less um, errors. This is the 1.4 version, you can see here this is in the harbor. And there's some sort of lantern here in the middle of the screen that's not supposed to be here. And the 1.5 version, it has been corrected. So this image in the 1.5, although it's the same one as this one, with the same prompt, is actually a little bit more coherent with less error. So that's a good thing. But to say that they are better is not correct. They're different, but still the same. Well, how about photography portraits? Well, here is a portrait that I created in the 1.4, and the same image in the 1.5 gave me this which is, I have to, I'm gonna have to blur it out, unfortunately, which is very strange, considering the heavy censorship of the website. And here you can see an entire watermark of some kind of Shutterstock clone that's just displayed on the image, which is very strange. And here's, for example, a picture of Victorian London, which is done in the 1.4 version, and then the same image in the 1.5. As you can see here, there isn't a lot of differences, if not at all. People still look kind of weird, and the street is still full of errors. So, yeah, not a great generation overall. But I am happy to report that there is at least something that the 1.5 version is better at than the 1.4. And that is the generation of 3D images of anime girls. Yes, that's right, not actually anime girls, but 3D rendering of anime girls. For example, this image was done in the 1.4 version, and the same image in the 1.5 looks like this. Way better lightning, way better clothes. The face is still a little bit crooked, but compared to the 1.4 version, it's a whole nother image. Here's another example, 1.4 version, 1.5 way better the shadows looks more realistic there's more details the eyes looks more realistic also just it looks better in every single point the differences aren't big but they're still there so that's pretty good and here's another one 1 1.4 1.5. Again, better shadows, better rendering, and just better quality overall. So here's my conclusion on the release of the 1.5 version of Stable Diffusion. I think the newest model is a welcome addition. I did notice that the faces look a little bit better than the usual 1.4 version, but I don't think there is a lot more to say about this new release compared to the previous one. I'm not saying that I'm disappointed because it's always good to have new models and the developers of the Stable Diffusion team will surely bring us better 
models over time. So yeah, I guess I was expecting a little bit more out of this release, but it's still good to have. We're gonna get better as time goes on. So, so if you want to go and try it out for yourself, just click on the link in the description down below. Try it out a little bit and tell me what your observations are. Maybe I missed something. Tell me in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithms. And boy, you know I love algorithms. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.